I'm for a love potion. A little sweet. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So thank you so much for stopping by. So I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful three-step gathered gown. So I'll be using this fabric, this beautiful Ankara fabric. It's a leftover fabric. So I'll set this aside since I'll be cutting the lining first. So I already I already ironed stay on the lining because if not it will fray. So I just ironed stay on it. So this is for the front and this is for the back so the gown will have a round neck in the front and the v-neck at the back a low v at the back so let's start cutting so the shoulder measurement that i'm working with is nine so i'll measure that out so it divided by two is four and a half so this gown is for a two year old so an under mark and for the neck i'll be using two inches Two inches so I'll go down by half inch here go down by half inch here and connect it to these two inches so the armhole I'll be using four and quarter inches not four and a half four and quarter so I'll mark that So I'll be putting my chest measurement on this line. Let me connect it. So let me also connect the armhole. The body measurement I'm working with is 22 inches. That's her chest measurement. So divided into four is five and a half. So this is five and a half, but I'll be adding one inch sewing allowance to that. Or let me use half inch, half inch sewing allowance. So I'll mark that. I'll get the midpoint of this four and quarter. So let me just measure it here so you can see. So the midpoint is two and just one so I'll be marking that so this is the midpoint and at this point I'll come in by half an inch so I'll connect this from here to here so let me do it this way so So, the neckline for the front, I'll be using two inches as well. So, I'll mark two inches here. Two inches. I'll mark the same two inches here. Sorry, two inches by two inches. So, so I'll connect. From here to here, get a straight line from here to here. Then I'll curve it to my neckline. For the back neckline, I'll be going very low since it's a deep V. So I'll be I'll be using five and a half inches. Five and a half inches. So this is so I'll connect it from here to this V. So 
so the half length i'm working with is nine inches so but i'll be adding one inch i'll be adding one inch sewing allowance so that because our beading half inch to connect it to the lower part of the dress and i will also be folding this lower part of the half length because i will be using it to cover the rough edges so in total i'll be adding one inch the measurements i'll be maintaining the same measurements here i what i have here is six and is six inches i'll be maintaining the same six inches here so i'll connect it i will not be adding that so i'll cut it now So this is the front and this is the back so i'll slit open the, the back so i'll place it on the ankara fabric and cut out what i need so this is the back of the dress this is the front and this is the back the back will be like this I'll place on the fabric and cut now. So I'll take this to the machine now and join the shoulders and I'll do the same to the lining as well. I'll join the shoulders and after that I'll show you the next thing to do. Try to place it like this. Like this. So I'll join the shoulders, join the shoulder of the fabric as well and I'll come back. So I've joined it. This is how it looks. I've joined the, sh the shoulder and I've done the same to the lining. So what I'll do now is to place the lining on top of the fabric like this. Like this. Just make sure it's equal. I'll place it on it like this. And take it to the machine and I'll join this. Please, after joining, make sure that you iron your seams open. You see what I did here? You iron it open. Do, do the same to the fabric. Iron it open so that everything will relax and you're sewing so i will join this i'll join it this way so guys i will not don't forget to notch so i will notch this place so that it will relax i will notch the neckline what you saw so I will now dot stitch and dot stitch I'll dot stitch like this to relax what I just sewed, so I will top stitch and come and show you now, guys. So I joined everywhere, I joined the armhole, so I joined, I even closed the zip side, I joined everywhere, I did the same here, I did the same here, so what I, but I left, I left just this hole to turn out everything. So I'll be turning out everything now. 
so i have finished turning it out so i'll go to the machine now and sew this i'll just pack it and close it up so that everywhere will be neat and after that i'll iron this properly before moving over to the lower part of the dress so let me quickly do that and let's cut the lower part of the dress So the body, the chest measurement that I'm working with is 22 inches, so which is 11 inches on fold. So this is it. That means I have one inch, one inch sewing allowance. So I'll measure half inch on this side. And half inch on this other side as well. So I'll mark half inch here as well and half inch here so now connect it so i will attach it now i will sew it on these two sides so after that i'll move over to the lower part of the dress so the full length of the dress is 22 inches so and the upper part is 9 inches so this would be making up 22 inches plus sewing allowance half inch for attaching it to the upper part and half inch for hemming the dress so i have three here and each one of them is 20 inches by width so so this is 14 inches because of the sewing allowance by 20 and this one is 10 inches that means it's supposed to be 9 inches plus sewing allowance of 1 inch and this third one is 6 inches so this one this one is 6 inches 5 inches plus sewing allowance so these three now they are all by 20 inches that it will make up the three tiers of the lower part of the dress so what i'll do now is to gather them together i'll arrange it like this i'll be lining it but i'll do that after gathering it i'll show you what i'll do because I'll be using this lining to cover the rough edges. So let me quickly gather this. We have 22 inches on the upper body of the dress. So I'll gather this to the 22 inches. So I've gathered it to 22 inches. And I'll now go and attach it to this. I'll attach it to the upper part of the dress like this. You know, like this. So I will attach it to the upper part of the dress, and after that, I'll come and show you. We are almost done with the dress, guys. So the lining, I will be using 12 inches for the lining. So this is 14 inches times 4, which is 52 inches. So the reason is because the lining is so light. So even if it is longer than the fabric, it won't really matter. So I'll be using it like that. So that is 52 inches by 12 inches. So I'll cut it out now. So I'll hem this with one inch and after that I'll show you what next to do. So I've gathered this and attached it to the upper part of the dress. Now I want to use, what I'm doing now is, this is the lining and I've hemmed it. So this is the front. So I'm going to place it like this. This is the in inside of the dress inside of the dress so i'm going to place this lining like this and then sew it all the way then after sewing it i will now flip it that way to cover all the rough edges so i'll do that and i, I will also sew this edge also i'll attach it on the two sides so everything will be neat so i'll do that and so i have used the lining to cover the rough edges I'll just attach the zipper and then after that I'll show you the finished look of the dress. I've attached the zip and the dress is ready. All is left now is for me to iron the dress. I'll give it a very good press. Can you see how beautiful it looks and it was so easy to make? So thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!